I often ask myself, how do you translate these specific challenges into the legal sector? What are the particular aspects of this that are different for the legal sector? And I think the, the answer is really quite fundamental, which is that we, we need to remember that this is, we are a services business. So what we do is help other people achieve their objectives. And so on the one hand, it's just the same for us to seek to influence our suppliers uh, with our purchasing decisions, what we require of them. Uh, and of course, we are also part of the supply chain for our clients. And so frequently we are asked to respond to their questions about the broader sustainability agenda and in particular the environmental agenda. But what is difficult for us, both as a practical matter but also intuitively, is how we can influence our clients uh, in, in this area. And for many people that will be a very uncomfortable conversation to seek to impose their views on the way to run their business uh, on, the, on their clients. So what, what, can, what can we do then? And I, I think the answer is we can help establish the benchmark of good practice by running our own businesses in a particular way. We could even possibly lead the pack in running our businesses in a particular way so that we raise the, if you like, the lowest common denominator of what is expected of business. We can, obviously, uh, as part of our rounded advice, also draw in reputational aspects. Uh, we can be familiar with what businesses are doing in this area and in these ways and make sure that that informs the advice we give. But yes, of course, we have to accept that if our clients are pursuing le legal objectives, our opinion of the good business sense and ethics of those is a secondary matter. But it doesn't mean to say we can't do anything at all. We should do what we can. We should be enthusiasts for the cause and realise that we're contributing to the context which will bring everyone along in this direction.